And Halloween is just around the corner. And since we're embarking on some of the most sugary months of the year, it's no wonder that November marks Diabetes Awareness Month. Joining us now live from Los Angeles to shed some of the light on the great sugar debate is Dr. Melina Jamplis and a man whose uh, own unique experience in cutting out sugar led him to purchase, get this, a soda company, Z Zevia CEO Patty Spence. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, tell, tell us, Dr. Jablis, uh, you know, there, there's so many different terms that are out there uh, on the labels and the different theories and so forth. Uh, what do we know what is best to put in our bodies these days? Well, I think every expert agrees that Americans are consuming way too much sugar. So even if it sounds healthier like honey or agave or cane juice, we need to cut back on our sugar intake added sugar. But the problem is that, that labels can be very confusing. So I recommend ignoring the front of the package and really just flipping products over and looking at the nutrition facts panel and comparing the sugar amount in grams of different products to make the healthiest choices that you can and to cut back on your sugar intake overall. Also oh, cutting back on the sugar intake and so then a lot of people still want to uh, you know make their coffee sweet or make whatever that they're eating sweet. So how do we determine what substitute or uh, artificial sweeteners are good for us? Yeah, that's a great question. And I have a big sweet tooth, so I definitely am, you know, I understand some experts say, well, just cut the sugar, and I'm not one of those experts. But when it comes to no-calorie sweeteners, there's basically two types, natural and artificial. And stevia is the only one that is natural. The, we the rest of them are made in a lab. So as a doctor and as a mom, I really feel more comfortable with a natural calorie-free sweetener like stevia because I just feel like the body is better designed to handle something that's more natural. Well, thank you. And as we mentioned, uh, Diabetes Awareness Month is, uh, is coming up. And for the millions of Americans who suffer from diabetes, what kinds of products such as sodas, et cetera, and the sweeteners do you re really recommend? Because I know you just mentioned one, but what about the different sodas and how yeah. they play into that as well? Well, you know, I think Patty's Soda, Zevia, is really a great option for diabetics, and it tastes terrific. And I also recommend that you diabetics eat products that have naturally occurring fiber from things like whole grains and nuts and seeds instead of adding fiber to things like ice cream and cookies and cakes, which really isn't the healthiest option at the end of the day. And, and Patty, thank you. And, and Patty, we were talking uh, right before we actually started the live segment, and, and you were consuming 250 grams of sugar a day. It's a, like 1,000 calories, which is 30,000 calories a month that you were consuming. And, uh, but now you a very physically fit-looking guy. Well, thank you. I mean, you know, I thought I was a healthy guy before, and it was interesting. Those 250 grams of sugar were coming from sources that were all natural and organic, things like protein smoothies and, and fruit juice and energy bars. And so uh, I didn't realize how unhealthy my diet was. But when I went off of sugar 13 years ago and started using stevia every day, I really changed in terms of uh, my energy levels throughout the day and felt better throughout the day. And, and you know, you, you folks have been involved with, of course, the, the, the ban on uh, at least trying to get rid of some of the ban in, in New York and so forth. And, and uh, what sort of position are y'all with that now? Well, I think, you know, our, our biggest uh, issue was really to wait, raise the awareness of, of sugar consumption and help folks realize how much sugar they're consuming. And really, at the end of the day, that's what we accomplished is raising that dialogue. Very good, thank you. Now, how can folks get a little bit more information on uh, the different sweeteners that you can use and maybe the different sodas, of course, that you're talking about? Well, we think our, our website is one great source for that, zevia.com, Z-E-V-I-A.com. We have a lot of information on sugar consumption and alternatives and where to find hidden sugars in your diet. Very good. Thank you both so much. We appreciate all the uh, great information coming up on uh, Diabetes Awareness Month very soon. More coming up right after the break. Stay with us.